hand, right hand. You swear in front of you just told me the whole truth. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I just love that part. All right. <clears throat> All right, now let's get oh, into this video. Hi, Hi, Sheriff's how Office. How are you? Good. So I'm having somebody tell me yeah, that. Yeah, he, he was like harassing me. So okay. I don't know. What, so what you, would you, you tell you him? Call, you I'm, I'm going to say this right quick. Let me just be fair. If anybody hops out with glasses like that, I'm already got my antennas up. I've already got my antennas up. It's me being personal, especially when they wear that cross necklace. Hey, I'm not going against religion, but there's something about people who wear cross necklaces. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those seem to be the worst kind of people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it. I don't know what it is, but people who wear that cross necklace, they always on something, bro. No, no. What'd you tell him? I didn't say anything to him. He, he was harassing me. Well, how was he harassing you? He was like, oh, you're just doing this disrespectful. Like, no. No. Okay. What, what <laughs> that that was not a good explanation, madam. He was, a, I mean, like, no. No, that, that wasn't it. Sorry. Mr. Rossing, again, all you said is, all, all you said is, I'm doing something disrespectful. What did he say? I don't know. That's the whole thing. So how is he harassing you? I don't know. That's why I, like. But hold on, hold on. It's, it's a beautiful day outside. And I can't see the outside. If y'all haven't noticed that my room is completely darked out, there is no light coming, shining through at all. <laughs> Even during the daytime, my room is completely dark. But still, I believe it's a beautiful day outside. This woman said, I do not know. He said, what did, it, she, what did he do? I don't know. You said he was harassing you. I don't know. Ma'am, that's not how life works. Okay? That, ain't, that is not how it works. Okay? Once again, like we saw with the last woman, she knows she's done. Where you know how this is going to end? Face on the ground. No, I'm Real just kidding. I don't, I don't know how this is. He's harassing you. Yeah. But then I when know. I ask you how he's harassing you, you don't I don't know. know because why Why is he calling the cops? But again, so you've been staying in the same area driving around. Because I... Do you mind if I get your ID? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you stay here? At this yeah, I live here. Okay. <laughs> Like he's like he's being a he's being a fucking parent with his pit bull and everything like that. He was he was yelling at me for no reason. Okay, that's a credit card. Another forty one in fact. Well, if you knew, then you would have grabbed the right one. Don't try me. Can you call Martha and you can call Billy Garlaza. That you. that's fine. I'll call Billy right now. Okay, okay. Hold on, young man. My 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 beautiful cop brother. Okay. Hey, I'm for the boys in blue. But motherfuckers, let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm trying not to curse. Slow it down, man. I'm trying to be better. You guys gotta stop doing that, man. I get it though. Everybody can't have a perfect day, okay? We all hit those days where it's just not going right. You know, it's hot. We're trying to get home, and now we have to deal with this bull. Y'all saw how he drove off. He said, "Put your right hand up." Blah, 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 like. He probably not feeling like this. He's not dealing with this. But when you come across a woman like this, and like I said, he's having a bad day. This is not a critique towards him personally. But when you come across people like this, guys, do not engage. He did not have to say that credit card line. He already knew she was going to snap if he said something like that. Because she said, mother, she said, she said, absolutely. You already know where this conversation is going. Don't provoke. Because that's when things get bad. Face on the ground. Have you had anything to drink today? Hey, start heading over here. Possible to the one. Did you recently move? No, I have this. No, no, no. I'm asking you. No, this the reason why I'm asking. No, I live there. That's why I oh, own my Okay. Wall. So did you just pull over here because I pulled you over or? No, because you were sitting there around because that guy, he was there sitting around. Ma'am, you can't just pull in somebody else's okay. driveway. No, I'm just asking because you're he in the driveway. I road. got you. No, no, I got you. I got you. I'm, not, I'm not trying to mess with him right now. He was down the road. Hey, real quick, real quick. Hold on. Take a second. 
Listen, the reason why is because you're in front of somebody's house. I didn't know when I asked you, you said you okay, lived here. This is, okay, I know she, who this house is. She did okay. say she lived there. That's what I'm asking. I'm asking okay. why you pulled up in here okay. and you said you lived here and the address on here is different. Okay. So how, again, how was he harassing you? Because I was driving because I was trying to Oh my god, with this and... stupid stuff. Why do why do all y'all call somebody in the middle of talking with the, okay, whatever. He was like, "Who are you?" you? Have you ever have you ever seen him before or anything? Yeah, I've been here. They're pulling you aside. Why? Yo, tell the cops right now, right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to pause so much, but it's just tripping me out. She answered the phone, and the guy said, "What?" Okay. So how, again, how was he harassing you? Because I was driving. Because I was trying to say you buckle. And he was like, "Who are you?" you have you ever sir? have you ever seen him before or anything? Yeah, I've been here. They're pulling you aside. Why? Yo, <laughs> tell the cops right now, right now. Toma. Who's, 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 who's this? Hey, policiana. Hey, tu casa hay hora ahí? What? Hi, this is Deputy, Deputy Rodriguez of Blue Sheriff's House. How's it going? Spanish. Okay, that's fine. I'm, you can be whatever you want to be. Hey, can you hear me? It's rude. Uh, yeah. Hey, this is Deputy Rodriguez of Blue Sheriff's House. How's it going? Hello. Hey, do you reside at 316 Kettering? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir? I, I just want to make sure we're I'm doing an investigation right now and she just randomly pulled in here and it's not on her on her ID. So we're just trying to confirm. I'm just trying to see why why she was over here. Um along with the further investigation that I'm doing. I guess she just wanted to prove that she knew somebody that lived here. But uh, she just, I mean, she just stopped by. I mean, she was just checking. I'm going to see if I was home, but she okay. was actually lived there. Okay, yeah. If I need to talk to you about that, we could talk about it in a second. Um, but just give me a second. Give me one second. Thank you. Bye. All right. Question for you. Do you have anything to drink today? Nope. Okay. I can smell the odor of alcohol coming from your breath. Okay, so, so. I can go ahead and have No, you're right now you're We're gonna move along here in a second. I just want you to guys to get the overall story of what's going on. Okay. I understand the cost be a little pushy. But I can never get down with the person who's drinking and driving. There's a lives at stake. And it makes me sick to my stomach when somebody drinks and drives because I know, I get it. You don't want to take it seriously every single time. I get we're just making a video, but now everything I said earlier, what did I say about people who wear those cross necklaces? I just. I'm not against people who wear those necklaces. It's just something. Every time I see somebody who wears that, they're always the people who live in the wildest. I think it's because people who wear jewelry and stuff like that and things that try to represent something, even if it's not a cross necklace, say you wear a necklace that says faith or just wear a necklace that says I am the best. It's those people you know aren't the best. It's like they have to try to remind themselves to live that way. And I get it. I get it. You want to try to get your life right. Man. But man, I drink it and drive it. I can't ride with that young lady. You're detained. No, I, no, hold on. I'm telling you right now. I don't listen. Have no, I have no keys on me. Okay, you are detained. I saw you driving the vehicle. You're detained. If you try yeah, to go in the house, yeah, I'll, that was that was on the dash cam, girl. She he drove up right behind you when you pulled in. Put you under arrest. How? You are currently being detained. I'm giving you a lawful order to stay here while I have somebody do field sobriety exercises with you. Okay. <laughs> If you want to leave and go and try to go inside the house, at that point, you'd be impeding my investigation, going against the law for order, therefore it's resisting. You'd go to jail. So are you trying to go inside? Ma'am, stay here. You're not. Ma'am, stay not, here. Can you not talk to me? No, you're staying right here. If okay, you want to try to go inside, I will put you in handcuffs right now and take you to jail. How are you going to put me in handcuffs? Because I'm giving you a law. I would hate having that kind of power. Me personally, shout out to the cops, man. I just, let me shut up. Order to stay right here until we okay. conduct field ex right. field spot exercises. Perfect. Then that's fine. And you can call Murder Forty One. Yeah. And you can call. Okay, I'll call Billy who. I'll, I'll call Billy Galarza right now. And Newman. Okay. Great. You know deputies' yeah. names. Can you tell them to let me inside your house because I can't leave? Obviously. No, you're being detained. They won't let me leave. Like I don't want to leave, but I'm gonna sit inside and like if you can come to the house, so I can go. Like they're trying me right now. He's he, he's he's telling me that he's like I can't. Forty-seven. All right, guys, we never watched the whole damn thing. Let's move forward here. Oh, it looks like he gets crazy right here. So you know what? Never mind, guys. We're gonna keep it moving for this you. Let's get to the juice, and then like, we'll keep it moving. Like, this is a, a 
a very obsession to your neighborhood right now. If you need to let me go inside your house, she sounds drunk, guys. As you allow me to, and that's it. Even if he allows you in the house, here's one thing, guys. And I'm not for people who don't who who drink. This is why I don't drink anymore, guys. One, I don't like feeling tipsy. I don't like feeling high. I'm over the drugs. I'm over the alcohol. I'd rather just be depressed than go through it. I'm sorry. That's just me personally. I don't need anything to push my mood up. I, I'll do it through prayer and running or something or going to the gym. So I just don't want to do it that way anymore. But this is another reason I don't drink because you can start drinking. Next thing you know, you're drunk. And this is what you act like. You think you're normal. And people find this shit fun. But this is you're putting people's lives in danger. She's slurring her words. She's clearly intoxicated. If you don't need to drink, please don't do it. I don't mind if somebody, if you're a person who drinks alcohol, you take, you're like a, a taste tester, whatever. Shout out to the media man. <laughs> I know I talk about him all the time, but you know, shout out to you guys. But if you people who drink to get drunk, please stop. It's just not worth the risk. My father in law died from alcohol poisoning. So, the team. Why? One, because I can smell, as I saw you driving and doing an investigation, I can but smell you the uh, have keys on me. You don't Who, need keys. Where's the keys. You need to be in physical control okay, of the vehicle. I have you. Listen, I'm not going to argue with you. If you okay, want to try to walk away, I'll take you to jail. Either. Okay? Call shit with them. I'll, I'll call whoever you want me to call. You're still okay, in the wrong and you're on body camera them. right now. Okay, Sean. You're not helping yourself right now. Oh, he's got it up here. All right. Works for you. You want me to call Billy too? Yeah, both of them. I'll call all of them if you want to. Yep. It's just perfect. not helping your situation right now. Okay. I'm waiting. So, He's waiting. He's going to open the garage for me. Thank you. If you go inside, you'll be placed under arrest. No, I wouldn't because he's letting me out of the house. No, you are detained. You are not stepping into that house. You want me to talk to your friend? I'll talk to Gilberto again. It's his name is Gilberto. Oh, Gilberto. Okay, I'll talk to Gilberto. Gilberto. Right. Like, so correct his name. Don't do that. Oh, I'm trying minutes. to use the You got it wrong, ma'am. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. See, this is what happens when you get drunk, people. I'm trying to go inside. It's just like he's trying to detain me. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Okay, well, he's not being Comply. successful right now. You over here, you're in front of my house okay. causing a scene. And that's not fair. That's Baby, I got to live here. You don't. Shout out to my kids. I'm not driving. I don't have no keys on my, like, my possession or nothing. I'm not just going inside, and that's it. If you go inside, you'll be placed in a rush for resisting. He won't do that because I he's giving me persistent. Like he's no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with... I don't care whose house this is. If you leave our investigation, because you're being stopped right now, and I'm waiting on a second unit to I'm do field to body. Stop right now. Where stop. are we stopped? Stopped. Stopped. You see the blue no. lights? You see those blue lights on my car? Because it means you're you being detained. That up on me. Yes. yes. And I saw you driving. No, you didn't. It's on camera. Okay, show me. All right. Oh Lord, no! Don't touch nope. me. Yeah, that, that's me too. Like I'm don't not about to do all this. The car. I will remove the phone from you. Me. You're gonna be. I'm putting you in handcuffs right now. And I'm telling you not to touch me. I am telling you, put the phone okay, on the car. Why, oh stop. Lord! Stop. Hey, Siri, what did I tell Martha. you? How did this end? Face on the ground. Hey Siri, call Martha. Forty-seven Central. Can I get another unit code three, please? Yep, you better do it. Hey Siri, call Martha. Stop. Hey Siri, call Martha. Oh, hey, poor, Martha? poor baby. Oh, she about to start crying. Stop. Hey, Siri, poor baby. Call Martha. Oh, 47. I'm going to resist. Siri, Siri's yeah, not I'm responding. Not resisting. You're literally pulling away. That's code because for resisting. you're resisting me. Stop because turning you're around. You're resisting me. Am Stop. I I'm staying in front of his house. You know he has a camera, right? Good. I have a camera, too. Yeah, I'm you're not so helping sorry. yourself and right now. You see that you are being resistant to me. All right, guys, Stop we, pulling away. We, I'm not pulling away. You are we don't need to see much more. We know how this story ends. Okay? If you want to check out the rest of the video, please go watch. But this, the, these videos I show you guys is the purpose. Number one, don't drink. Don't drive. Number two, see, you people who do this kind of stuff, who go get drunk, not people who go get drunk, but you people who, not necessarily people who get drunk, but certain people who do, you go to somebody's house, you resist the rest. Now you're causing a scene in front of somebody's house that you do not own. Your friend lives here. And now he's got to probably explain to his neighbors why the hell there's a woman in front of his house yelling and screaming and having the cops involved. 
People don't like that. It's If you don't notice, if you live in the neighborhood, people don't like the cops in their neighborhood. And they damn sure don't want people over there causing a ruckus, especially if they're getting arrested. Because guess what's going to happen? The next time she comes to that cribbo, because this whole neighborhood going to talk. Every time she comes to the crib, people going to be looking. People going to be like, why do you hang out with her? She was drinking and driving. You know that? My kids live out here. And you have somebody out here drinking and driving. That's your friend. You see what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff you bring. When you do this kind of stuff to people, this is supposed to be your friend. And look how she's doing you. Let me bring it on her. I'm not I'm trying to switch that around. Look how you're what you're doing to him, ma'am. This is your friend. And now you're gonna have people asking him questions and all this. And for you people who are like, well, it doesn't matter, they should mind their business. No, 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 no. When somebody's drinking and driving in your neighborhood where you have fucking children. No, you don't get to just say mind your business because that's a person who's dangerous. That's a person who's reckless. That's a person who could go out on the streets tomorrow and kill someone else. That stuff should be taken seriously. So you people who say mind your business, no. Thank God for the man who says something because she was driving around. Remember before she pulled in, she was driving around. She couldn't get in the house. So what if that guy said, uh, no, I'm not home. Go somewhere else. She could have been right back on the streets drinking and driving. Right back there. And there's kids. This is a neighborhood where clearly it looks like kids would be playing around. This looks like a family neighborhood. Clearly. And y'all think this is okay. Please, if you are a person who drinks, get a designated driver. Do not go out on these streets. Thank God for the cops who did something. He may have been rude in the beginning, but he could save somebody's life. She's getting upset. And this is what people do who get belligerent when they start drinking. I don't know how she is a real person, but she needs help. She needs help. I'm hoping she got the help she needed after this whole ordeal. But we have got to learn that we can't accept this, okay? When you see somebody doing something wrong, please, if they're drinking, they're driving, say something. Now, she was trying to be a cop or impersonate a cop because she probably... No, she said apparently she knows the deputy, so she probably hangs out with them, gets coffee, or does some other things. Maybe she's the creature of the night. But my point is, thank goodness for this man. He may have saved some lives, but y'all let me know what I think. Am I crazy? Am I crazy to think what I think? I don't know. I'm disgusted about this individual. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.